part two. This is the um, sparkle tone, the bright. Yeah, tones. Part you like the the dark warm tones, and we had some comments on the last video where they were interested in more the what you're doing. I now. do lean towards the darker, warmer tones myself, whether I'm clean, dirty, or whatever. But one of the reasons I want to do this is because I, and I've moved the camera a little closer, and we're, we're running this cab and this cab right here. Okay and this head and that head. Same as the last video, one head is dry and one head has a little delay on it. And, and you know, when I run these darker, warmer tones, this camera, the mics will fold easily. And, and if it's louder with a lot more gain going on, the, the mics, believe it or not, the, you don't hear so much of the folding, but if it's low and clean and very warm, you, you'll hear a whole lot of compression on there. And, and my amps do have a nice, beautiful tube compression, but when I listen to it back on YouTube, by the time it gets on YouTube, it gets crushed there and, 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 and crushed here. So you're not really hearing the, you know, the real story, but obviously it's just a camera. But um, I'm going to um, show some brighter sparkly tones, and, and they're going to get crushed too, <laughs> obviously, but they'll, they'll be less affected by it because it's a lot brighter. But that's where we were on the last video, okay? We, we're very low, we have our volumes, you know, barely on, and, the, and this is the tone control, barely on, and this is the EQ switch, barely on, right? And, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm playing with my open hand pretty much probably for most of this. If you see me grab this pick, then you'll hear the sound of a pick. Normally I flip that in my hand, but in, in a video like this I want you to see when I have it or I don't, so I'm not going to flip it, I'll just reach for it. But, so, you know, this is where we were before, you know. Just a no gain master. This is just the amps clean. So now, if all I do is throw these EQ switches up, okay, you're going to hear a huge difference in the sparkle in the amp, okay? It could be because what this EQ switch does is it blocks low end, all right. I'm not even going to touch these tone controls yet. And you got to understand how low they are right now, how low everything is. Too many high end, too much, too many high frequencies at a very low volume are no good. They'll wind up sounding buzzy. Usually not in my amps, but in most amps they do. But it's it's generally you need a way to get rid of them. All right. But so what I'm going to do is just block some bass now. Literally, I'm not adding any high end. I'm just blocking bass. But you know what I want to do before that? I forgot to do something. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna turn the gain master on in each one of these settings and the clean. So let me go back to what I was just doing there. So yeah. so you have the memory of it. Okay, so now I'm going to just get rid of the bass. Both amps. The echo amp and the non-echo amp. Okay. Kick some Game Master in with the bass gone. Now, 
um, uh, most of the time, I, all the time so far, the volume on the guitar is all the way up because you can't see what I'm doing there. So I'm going to leave that all the way up. If I'm modulating with anything, it's the pressure of the right hand. So now, as you can see, you know, just removing the low end. Now, there's other ways to dissolve. There's so many settings. I'm not going to go through every setting, but another way to do that would be to say, okay, I live on the low end. I love the low end. I want the low end. So what I'm going to do, what does this control do? Okay. That's the tone control. That's the tone control. But what does it actually do in this amp? What it does is it takes the high frequencies that started from your guitar and your guitar pickup. Okay? It doesn't add any. It takes what you had and it takes them and sends them outside into the ground. Okay? <laughs> As you turn it down. As you turn it up, it sends them to the speakers. Okay? That's the simplest way I can put it to you. Well, now. I'm letting some of it go to the speakers, but I put the low end back in the amp. Okay? So. Game Master off. Yeah. still with everything okay so now obviously you can figure out by now I could have that up and be turning this and I, I can get so many different sounds and you also got to remember these are very dark warm speakers um, you know very muscly sounding speakers you start putting bright alnicos on it and then all this range changes here okay but if, if I were to have this on and this up here or higher I would be um, interested in uh, more volume to drive those frequencies and these amps are still very low so if we bring these volumes up let's say here okay it's still pretty low it's st well yeah it's still pretty low but we're on the last setting we were with the with the tones up okay so but you've also uh, got the guitar <laughs>
we're starting to yeah but i and i was modulating here. only with my hand still I, I normally i would be all over the volume controls there in the you know on the guitar but i'm, I'm trying to you can't see that so you won't have a reference to what that so i mean these amps will get as bright as you need them to get look i mean look we don't even have this switch on we don't even have this switch on and we're only here these things go all i've seen tony rombola pictures from his recordings where he's got this thing all the way over here and this thing up a half away you know i mean a half away these amps are are blisteringly loud you can literally play a stadium with them or as you can see you can get these bedroom sounds with them i mean it's really truly a full purpose amp that you can do everything with but when you bring these high frequencies in, you want to drive them, you know. Now, this would be real bright. If I had the bass removed from here, and I, I'm still only leaving that at 9 o'clock, right? It's not really removed. It's just reduced, right? No, it's re it, 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 what it does is there's a, a select area where I choose the frequency, and it's like the doorman, at uh, the bouncer at the club, okay? The bigger the dude is, and he says, no, you can't come in. You're not getting in. You're not pushing your way in, okay? <laughs> the smaller, the more likely you can push him out of the way, okay? Well, the cap I have chosen, you know, is, is takes the, the biggest bottom end and, and blocks it. Okay? So it's gone. Yeah, so it is gone. You know? so I forget what's, how my, oh, okay, I think I got, yeah, my game master's off. And keep in mind, I'm sitting right in the buzzy spot here with my guitar, okay? So, you know.
it out the game, Master, with this thing. This thing's kicking now, okay? Still fairly clean, okay? I think you guys all have a good idea now of some of the things and hopefully this camera didn't fold up I'm sure that folded it up it folded my ears up sitting right here but but well, uh, the other thing people need to keep in mind and we don't always say it but we there's no close miking, no pro tools we don't even have those things so this is all yeah you know unedited video straight from the Sony concert cam yeah. so in case you're interested there's no tremolo on that strat okay even though it looks like there is because I just couldn't find a plate that sounded really good and that's a real 50s plate so that plate got the nod but that 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 is a hard tail you're hearing there with, with, a, with a rather large profile neck Bob's yeah. special favorite guitar it's wide neck inch and three-quarter at the nut literally two and three-eighths at this end this guitar rocks alright All right, peace out um, the sparkle yay Sparkly clean tones from the tenon. And 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 dirty tones. Sparkle the sparkle. The sparkle. The sparkle. Bye y'all.